Hi there. Before you watch this video, I want to reassure you that I'm completely fine. The emotions that you see me express at the end of this video are an indication of the, the love that I feel for both of my parents. And in particular, that um, they brought me up in a way where they imparted their knowledge onto me. And they, they put a real value on uh, imparting that knowledge and on, if you like, mentoring from one generation to the next. And the emotion you see me at, at the, you, having at the end of this video is a reflection of that. So I really loved and respected that they passed their knowledge on to me. And I'm feeling great that through my YouTube channel, I'm able to do that from me to you. And in a real way, I'm doing it from my parents to you. And that feels fantastic just on a human level. So I wanna reassure you, I'm fine. I hope you're fine too. Please enjoy the video. Hi there, it's Paul in Perth here again. And today we're gonna to do something interesting. As a rarity, we're actually not going to be working on a car today. I want to show you how to magnetise a screwdriver. Because having a magnetised screwdriver when you're working on a car or in your house or whatever is incredibly useful. So let's talk about, or let me demonstrate to you, what a magnetised screwdriver looks like in action. This one here, I happen to know, is magnetised. So when I go down to this metal screw, I can pick it up just by touching it. But this screwdriver here is not magnetised. So when I touch it onto that, that uh, metal screw there, absolutely nothing happens. And similarly, this flat head here is magnetised. This flat head here is not magnetised. Okay? Now, I want to show you how to convert these unmagnetised screwdrivers into these magnetised screwdrivers. And I want to do it with two what I would call free junk objects that you might find around the house. This is a round magnet that I rescued out of the back of a household stereo speaker that was going in the junk pile. So I just took out the speaker and I rescued the, um, the, the circular magnet out of it and I used it as a fridge magnet. So that cost me absolutely nothing. And if you ever see a stereo speaker on the side of your verge or whatever, or you're throwing one out, you can tear them apart and you can get these. This here is the uh, magnet out of a computer hard drive. So if you're throwing out an old hard drive, rather than just throw it out, why don't you pull it apart and get the magnet out of them? There's actually two magnets you'll find that drive the, the um, hard drive head. Um, that's one of the two. What I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna demonstrate that with these two, and remember these two here are currently completely unmagnetised. I'm going to demonstrate to you that whether you use a speaker magnet or a hard drive magnet, you absolutely can magnetise screwdrivers. So let's do that. So let's start with, let's start with the flathead screwdriver and let's start with the speaker magnet. Now, what I need you to imagine is a a future magnetic field that goes down the um, shaft and around and back, okay? And what I want you to do is grab your screwdriver, uh, grab your magnet, and I want you to follow that pattern. So you're going, this is where I want the magnetic field to be, okay? I want it to be there. And I need you to do that 10 to 15 times. Okay, I haven't been counting, so I don't know whether I'm up to about 10 or 15, but I'll do it. I'll do it another four times. So one, two, three, four. Okay, check this out. It's now magnetic, okay? You've now induced magnetism within this screwdriver. And that was with just a magnet that I pulled out of the back of a household stereo speaker. Now. Let's look at doing the same thing with a magnet out of a hard drive of a computer. Remember, this screwdriver here currently has no magnetism whatsoever. So, same thing. Just follow the, the path of, you're imagining a magnetic field, right? So you're imagining it going around in a circle, out of one pole and into the other pole, okay? I think that's about six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, watch this. It's now magnetic. Okay? It's not magic, it's science. Okay? So you can imagine how useful this is when you're working on your car and you've unscrewed something that's uh, deep in uh, like a, a, a door skin or something like that. And you've got the magnet, you've got the screw sitting down and you can't get to it. What's actually really handy is if you can just dip the screwdriver in there and pick it up. It's incredibly useful. And just to give you some idea, some of these screwdrivers I did that little 15 second trick with about two years ago. And as far as I can tell, they're as strong now as the day that I did them. But you know what? Even if it wore off after two or three years, as you saw, it takes about 15 seconds to remagnetize them. So just do it again, okay? Now, if you've enjoyed this, and I hope you have, I feel like it was really educational. I'd like you to do three things for me. I'd like you to press like, I'd like you to click on subscribe if you haven't already, and I'd love you to leave me a comment and tell me what country you're from. There's also one other thing that I wanna um, start talking to you about. It's something I haven't covered on my channel before. I haven't really talked about me and where I've come from. And I wanna tell you something about that trick that I just showed you. I didn't see it on the internet. It was taught to me by my father when I was a teenager. And um, I'll see if I get teary, but anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Um, it was taught to, my, to me by my father as a teenager. And it was one of those father-son things that, that was passed down. And I'm not a religious guy. I don't believe in um, life after death or anything like that. But what I do believe is that you can pass knowledge on to other people and you can have that be a form of immortality because your knowledge lives forever. So let's have a look at just what happened there. My father taught me how to do that. My father taught one person. Now this video is hopefully gonna be seen by 50 or 100 people. So hopefully I've taught 50 of you how to do it. And that means that my father's knowledge has now passed on to 50 to 100 of you. And um, that to me is my example of immortal life or immortal knowledge. So what I'd like to, the message I'd like to leave you with here is Share your knowledge. Uh, don't hold it to yourself because the fact is none of us get out of here alive. And, um, you know, it's it's better to make the, the, the world a better place than, than to just keep things to yourself, all right? So thanks from Paul in Perth. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Catch you later. Bye-bye.